On this episode of City View, City of Austin employees team up with staff from the City of Victoria after Hurricane Harvey. Plus, how will you bring your big ideas to life? We'll tell you the story of three artists who did just that. And after 12 years of service, a member of the Austin Police Department is hanging up the reins. Hi, thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Marissa Monroy. Texas is still reeling from the effects of Hurricane Harvey. While Austin was mostly spared from the worst of the storm, the wide-ranging impact across the state has left communities destroyed and our friends and neighbors in need. Austin isn't standing idly by and started prepping to help early on. The city's Homeland Security and Emergency Management Department began tracking the storm in mid-August as it moved into the Gulf of Mexico. As the storm intensified, the city started making preparations to activate the Capital Area Shelter Hub Plan. The plan, which is a region-wide effort among several Central Texas governments, state and local partners, was activated on Friday, August 25th. As the storm moved ashore and lingered over Houston, causing devastating flooding, Austin served as an inland refuge, housing more than 600 guests from storm-ravaged areas. As efforts have shifted to recovery, Austin continues to stand by our Texas neighbors by providing shelter to those displaced by the hurricane, as well as offering direct support and expertise to communities throughout the state. The city has also provided a multi-agency resource center, known as the MARC, on site for anyone that has been impacted by Hurricane Harvey and needs additional assistance. We have organizations and staff here on site to help with things such as um, food assistance for birth certificate information. We have legal aid who is here. So we have multitude of resources here for, to help people. We also have social workers to help with case management services as well. The Resource Center is located at 7000 Metropolis Drive. If you would like to contribute to recovery efforts by volunteering or through donations, visit austintexas.gov help for information on the best way to help. To assist with recovery and cleanup from Hurricane Harvey, the City of Austin has dispatched crews from police, fire, Austin-Travis County EMS, Austin Resource Recovery, and the Austin Transportation Department. Signal technicians from the City of Austin worked alongside City of Victoria crews to help rebuild after Hurricane Harvey. ATXN was there as the two cities worked together to get traffic moving through the town safely again. Victoria, Texas is a growing city, about 100 miles to the south of Austin. It's a main thoroughfare that connects Texans to the coast. Our standard population is about 65,000, but during the day that doubles. Which is trouble for Victoria <coughs> when mobility came to a halt after Hurricane Harvey. You could hear the trees snapping, the telephone poles popping. You could hear transformers blowing. The majority of the city's signals were damaged. Charmel Garrett is Victoria's city manager. First few days we were in a sprint mode when you're doing response, uh, but we're in a marathon now. She says mobility is key to their road to recovery. The visors, they need six visors. And we knew that that was going to be a very critical issue for us on moving traffic. The signal just needs power and it's ready to go. You know, the danger of accidents and, you know, possibly fatalities with speed. And I was looking for large cities that were close by that possibly had the resources to spare for a little while. In response to Victoria's call for help, the Austin Transportation Department but I'm thinking those two pallets and that will fit right here. Yeah. Mobilized technician crews help Mario load up. We're going to go to the front. Who pack supplies, signals, and signs. Oh my goodness, uh, it's kind of like the cavalry came in to help us out. Just a great feeling to know that we had help coming. I hope y'all know y'all are awesome. Thank you. The assistance was welcomed. Oh, uh, we trying to. We can only do what we can do. <laughs> out of destruction came camaraderie. Yeah, all the people have been great. You know, they kind of know we're limited in what we can do. Technicians you know. exchanged best practices, learning from each other. You think it's just hanging down? Okay. Just in the last six, seven days that they've been here, we've been able to move across the city and get all the main thoroughfares going again. And, you know, I wish we could keep them a lot longer, but 
you know, we know y'all got to keep Austin running. So. Victoria's recovery now has a few less roadblocks and a few more green lights. Staff from both cities repaired 92% of the city's traffic signals. The Economic Development Small Business Program presented their first Exploring Entrepreneurship panel for creatives at the Mexican American Cultural Center. Three Texas artists shared their journey on how they brought massive concepts to fruition and how it made a profound impact on their community and career. Art's always been my passion ever since I can remember. The artists included Sharon Kashishian, neon artist and founder of Ion Art, a branding and signage company with clients that include Whole Foods, Kendra Scott, and NASA. Joseph Cristofoletti, a local artist who has painted monumental murals all over the world, including the CERN building in Geneva, Switzerland. An artist, curator, and an El Paso City Council member, Peter Schwartzwein, who leveraged a guerrilla art campaign about restoring the El Paso Wada's transnational trolley into a $97 million restoration grant from Textop for his hometown. The panel, moderated by curator and writer Annette DeMiro Carlozzi, shared their insights on best practices and business advice for working artists. Without that entrepreneurial drive, which is a need to go and create, which is a need to go and put yourself out there in the world, an artist can exist. So, you know, in, in a lot of ways, I think every artist is an entrepreneur. You're your own best resource. It's up to you. You can always do more stuff, work harder, create one more thing. You know, it's all about toughing it out and just doing it and just keep doing it and keep doing it. Even when all your family and all your friends are going, get a real job, why don't you do something else? You have to just stick it out. I've been looking at the small business website for a while, but this is the first event that I've been to and it was really informative. So the fact that they had a small business owner and a muralist and then an artist who's sitting on city council in El Paso was really great. It's very inspiring. I'm looking forward to taking advantage of some of the other uh, workshops that they have. The Small Business Program believes in the entrepreneurial potential in every artist. To find out more about their resources for artists, including upcoming biz aid workshops for creatives, visit smallbizaustin.org. And APD recently retired one of their senior officers after 12 years of service. Meet Dusty. Our senior horse, Dusty, he's been on the unit about 12 years. You know, if you, if you could be brothers with an animal, uh, we were pretty much brothers. So we were good partners. I almost knew what he was thinking before he did it. Oh, he wants me to scratch him. That's what it is. He has an itch down there he can't reach. The lip action, it's just like a dog. <laughs> but he was, a, he was a beefcake back, you know, when we had the, the quarter horses. He's about 21 years old. He goes into any situation we ask him to go into. Pretty much, he, he's not scared of anything. The scene on 6th Street, it's pretty, uh, pretty exciting at times. Dusty was uh, struck in the face with a shoe when we were trying to disperse the crowd. He's been burned with cigarettes. He's a trooper, made it through it all. He's gonna be retired finally after serving the city for 12 years. He's actually going to me and my family. We wanna make sure that they live along and as long as they can and, and an easy life after this. <laughs> Dusty will be headed to Huntsville, Texas to live out a well-deserved retirement on Corporal Nash's farm. That's all for this episode of City View. Our next episode will premiere on September 25th. I'm your host, Marissa Monroy. Thanks for watching.